Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the wrench. Today, I've got a really short video for you about the importance of, well, I'm gonna show you. This is the Gravely 34Z that we rebuilt the motor on this channel. And when I put it back together, I was so excited to use it uh, while I was waiting for it to be sold that I forgot to hook up the charging system and I started cutting a few lawns with it a week and the other day uh, the PTO switch stopped working it was intermittent for a minute I got through half a lawn stopped to pick up some debris the mower shut off and it would not restart the battery was completely dead so I had to walk all the way home which is about, I don't know, a mile, mile and a half. Get a battery, take it back, put the battery on. I did that, and I started the dang lawnmower, and it started right up, and I thought everything was fine. So I went to drive it home, and I got a few blocks, and it cut off again. Now there's a reason for that. Let me see if I can show you real quick without having to cut the video. Most machines you won't have this issue, but on commercial machines, you could. And there it is. What had happened was... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, inhaled the wrong way. This is my positive wire. Okay, remember, I, I if you watch the other video, I just had an extension lead and I used black. But this is the positive wire. And on said wire was one of these uh, battery terminal jobs that you loosen this up and this comes apart and you can stick the wire in there tightened down well the problem is that it was kind of worn and what happened was when I was riding down the, the road getting this thing home this wire came off on a cheap tractor a box store riding lawnmower garden tractor um, you have a manual PTO to turn your blades on it's just a lever you don't need the battery to be any good uh, you can actually use a jump pack to start it. You don't even need to have a battery connected to the system. But on a commercial machine, there are different types of safeties on these machines. So what you saw a minute ago when I started it, jumped off of it, pulled the seat up. All I did, I had vice grips holding the, the positive wire to the battery. And all I did to shut it off was I undid the vice grips and it died so if you have a commercial machine and you find that all of a sudden it doesn't want to start or it starts and intermittently will just shut off and you can't figure out the problem check your battery connections because if they're loose and it disengages it will kill the power even just for a second which will be enough to shut off the machine and you'll have an intermittent problem and you don't want to, you won't know what it is so I just wanted to point out, make sure your battery terminal connections are clean, they are tight, and you won't have this type of issue. So thanks for stopping by. This was a short one.